Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Like always, I'm Brian. Now, instead of doing a full build video because I've got two builds in the process, I decided I'm going to do a bunch of short instructions to basically help you guys get the information you need and get out without having to watch a 30 minute video. So stay tuned for a series of short videos done Chanley style. Today's short video will be how to install a motherboard, Chanley style. There are some cables you want to run before uh, installing your motherboard because you run into a case like this. Now just set this up as like a quick little demonstration, but if you look, a lot of people want to put their 8-pin motherboard um, connector across the front. Well, it's doable, but I think it's kind of ugly. So what I would do is come in from the back. But as you can see right here where the slot is, I'll spin it around. Where this slot is, you can't get the you can't get it in there. It's not gonna make it through the hole. So you would have to actually install or take the motherboard out, put this in, then put the motherboard back in. So a lot of pre-planning will help you when installing a motherboard. Another step in pre-planning that you want to work on is the rear I.O. interface. You want to match it up to the motherboard and then match it up in a corresponding area with the actual case. This will save you the hassle of installing and uninstalling and then reinstalling the motherboard in the case that you put this in upside down. This is a crucial part that will actually save you a lot of time. Once you know exactly how the I.O. panel goes in, you want to come in, push it in from the corners while supporting the case and the opposite sides until it locks into place. It can be a struggle from time to time, but a little bit of light pressure and uh, constant motion around the edges will help you get it in place. I went ahead and ran the 8-pin CPU connector ahead of time just so that it's out of the way and I don't have to worry about it later. This is where having a modular power supply will really come in handy on a project like this. I also cut off the two 4-pin adapters because I won't be needing them and really it would just be getting in the way and be a lot of clutter inside of the case. Hope it's not sacrilege to, you know, cut pre-sleeved cables. Now when placing this in, sometimes having the CPU cooler installed ahead of time will help, but since I'm going to be doing an all-in-one cooler, I'm going to save that till the last part of the build. Now line up the appropriate slots, just like that. They should go in nice and easy and have the appropriate amount of screws on hand. I need eight and I have my screwdriver right here. So eight screws and my screwdriver. Once you have it fairly lined up, I usually go with the middle screw first, right there. And just get it in place. After that, I'm gonna go all the way around making sure to hit up every slot and then I'll go down and tighten them once every screw is in place. Doing it this way will ensure that there's not too much pressure applied to one spot on the motherboard and it'll help you with lining up the holes and it'll overall just save you a headache if you run into a problem. I'm just going to go ahead and install the 8-pin connector while I'm here and attempt to pull out all the extra cabling. Even with the fan out of the way, this is about the best the cabling is going to look. So really, I didn't even have to take the fan out to try and get the cables, but this is about the best it's going to look. This will definitely be something you want to think about ahead of time before installing your motherboard. And here's what it should look like when you're finished. Not to mention the I.O. panel. And that's it. Installing a motherboard can actually be really easy, but if you don't prepare right, it can be a headache and a big pain in the ass, really. Um, upcoming videos are going to be power supply, wiring, hard drive installation, and that's pretty much the end of the build. Uh, a couple of tweaks here and there, and I should be done. So, thanks for tuning in, and here's the credits. 
Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to my short instructional video. I really hope it helped you out. If you have any other videos you'd like me to make or comments about what I've already done, please leave them in the comments below. Go ahead and check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Twitch. Uh, I've been posting a lot of stuff for the two builds I'm helping out on that aren't the ones I'm building, so go ahead and check that out on my Facebook. And this was Short Instructional Videos Done, Chanley Style.